in uh, a recent uh, research that was carried out, uh, it showed that Milton Keynes uh, was rated 10 out of 408 uh, local authorities in terms of um, vulnerability to the credit crunch. That was a recent Oxford um, uh, research. However, there are conflicting um, research that shows something to the opposite. Suggesting that Milton Keynes um, is, I think, in the top two in the country in terms of attracting um, new business, new small uh, businesses. Um, whereas, on the other hand, you 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 get in um, situations where there are going to be um, some of these big companies, where Milton Keynes, to be announcing quite a lot of job cuts. Mm. Uh, and I think is it not so that Milton Keynes is is got the is it's got a higher than average uh, unemployment level as far as the region is concerned. Um, what is your take then about the state of play in Milton Keynes as far as the credit crunch is concerned? Well, I'm a great fan of Milton Keynes. It's a young, dynamic, can-do sort of city, and in recent years, we've really have been a great success story. And I'm incredibly proud of what's been achieved here in the city. But we are susceptible, unfortunately, to the current credit crunch because of the very nature of the business that we have here, logistics uh, and other sorts of things. And most of my time at the moment is spent seeing some of our businessmen. And it's absolutely vital that we support those businesses because if our businesses here in Milton Keynes succeed, then, um, then, then the city succeeds. I've always felt that the driver for the growth of the city should be an economic driver, not some artificial housing target so it's absolutely vital that we support local business to ensure that um, we do have jobs for people to have here in Milton Keynes. Okay. And from your meetings with local businesses which I know you have been doing quite a bit of what is the mood uh, of these businesses? Well, it's a very serious mood. I mean, I'm a businessman myself. As I say, I, I, I run a manufacturing uh, company. Before I became a member of parliament, I still have an interest in that business, being a family business. So I've seen firsthand and am experiencing firsthand the difficulties that people are facing on a daily basis today. And there's a number of things that we can do to try and help. I think we should be allowing small businesses to defer their VAT payments. We should be um, making sure that we get the banks lending again. We should have a business loan guarantee scheme. So small businesses who may have cash flow problems at the moment can actually go to a bank and, and be lent that money, which they're really struggling to do at the moment. Because if we allow these businesses to fail, then that means there'll be greater unemployment in Milton Keynes. And we are suffering at the moment in the city because we have one of the highest growths of unemployment in the country. And that's something we have to try and tackle. Yeah. I mean, you, you, you mentioned about the fact that the banks are being very reluctant mm. to, 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 to lend at the moment. Because, I mean, some people might be asking that we as taxpayers are loaning essentially these banks our money. Um, and essentially, the, bank, the, the government of today is begging the banks to lend us money that we have actually loaned to them. I mean, what is your take and the party's take on this um, quagmire situation? Well, I think this is where people do find it very frustrating. I mean, we've heard about the government taking action and, and printing effectively all of this money to try and give it to banks and that we as taxpayers now own um, large proportions of some of these banks. And yet the output, which is how I judge politicians by, it's not what they say, it's what they do. The output of all of this seems to be very little. We still haven't got the banks lending to people. And that's why you know, the Conservative Party, and I'm a strong, uh, I'm a strong supporter of the idea, are pushing this loan guarantee scheme, some £50 billion, where actually that would be a pot of money which the government underwrites to the banks so that they effectively can guarantee the money to be lent to small businesses. Because whilst the money's going in at the top, into the banks and the government, it's not coming out the bottom. And unless we get the money out the bottom into the small businesses so that they can continue to expand, continue to be successful, and continue to employ people. 